The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mohsen Zia. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public and the themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is an illusion, and the ones you love be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com and heard on over 30 podcast platforms including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn, and heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalayan, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel, and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a wonderful gentleman who was born in India, who is now in Houston, and he's been a Texas-based musician for quite some time, for nearly 30, 40 years, and he does a great job of fusing rock jazz, pop, blues, and everything all together and comes out as a non-violent um, uh, platform we have and we'll be playing uh, one of his songs from uh, his release, Ghosts of War, in just a minute. A really terrific musician, live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the very ultra-talented singer-songwriter, multi-talented, non-violence guy, Cherie or a time. Cherie, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, hi, Mike. Uh, glad, uh, pleasure to join you today. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great up here in the uh, Plus Studios where I'm at, so I guess why I'm Paul Lorenz of the United States. So, um, so, so of course, you know, six feet uh, is possible with um, communication. It's like, you know, you be in Texas and I'm uh, up further north as well. So you so were born in India and you're now in Houston, Texas, and you've been a Texas-based musician for quite a number of decades. You fuse rock, jazz, pop, 
Blues, and you've got um, an amazing release from an amazing um, album we'll be playing in just a minute. And before we get into all that, tell us how you first got started, Sheree. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mike. Uh, um, all, all well here. I mean, uh, been in Houston here for a while. Um, very excited to to talk to you about my about my album uh, and uh, the unique uh, you know compositions and instrumentation in the album. With mm-hmm. You. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, um, it, it basically uh, you merge um, global electric acoustic musical styles and uh, challenging social and philosophical commentary. And first of all, I just want to get in a part on uh, how you first got started in the business, you know, starting in India, working way toward Houston. And um, career-wise, uh, just talk about your uh, musical journey. Sure, sure. So it's, a, it's an interesting story. So I started music very young in India, you know, uh, started writing music when I was in school. And uh, when I completed my college, I had a band actually in India. We traveled all over India. The band was called Down Sterling. Traveled all over India, playing in India was very popular there. Uh, but when I completed my college, my dad was like, hey, you, you got to do something with your life. You know, there's, <laughs> there's not much of money here to be made in India playing music, especially rock music. Mm-hmm. So um, so he actually encouraged me to, to move over to the United States. And in the, in the 90s, I came, came, came over here to, uh, to study, um, you know, completed my graduate studies here. But, but, but the whole songwriting thing continued in parallel, you know. So I've been recording and putting music out there for the last few years and uh, continued performing here on a smaller scale uh, in Houston now. But lived in Oklahoma City for a while before I moved here to Houston. Oh, really? Well, was, tell us the story about moving to uh, Oklahoma City. I've got some friends out there. Oh, yeah. So so it's actually my buddy, you know, my, my band, Down Sterling, uh, the drummer, a friend of mine, actually came to Los Angeles to do a drumming course, you know. And then he was on a plane traveling to Texas to meet some of his relatives. And he had the vice president of uh, Oklahoma City University uh, sitting right next to him on the, on the, on the plane. And my, my drummer friend was actually uh, looking up some universities to go do his MBA. And, uh, and then the, the, uh, the VP of o- OU, uh, Oklahoma City University gave him his card and said, hey, okay, give me a shout, man. I mean, come to my university. And so he went there to do his MBA. And the next thing I get a call uh, asking me, hey, why don't you come down here, man? U.S. is a happening place. You know? <laughs> <laughs> next thing I know, I'm in Oklahoma City, you know, doing my MBA program there. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm with computer science. So. Wow, yeah. I, I do have to say one thing. Houston is a huge hotspot when it comes not just music, but also for business, marketing, and yes, computers. That is a huge hotspot down there. And I got some friends down there, and sometimes I wish that is a huge hotspot. And, um, and, and how do you compare the um, music scene uh, in Houston compared to Oklahoma City? Uh, I think Houston Houston is a lot better. It's a, you have a, a much bigger population of folks out here, uh, much more diverse, you know. So, so And my music tends to be a little more uh, universal music, so I think the, the, the uh, appeal is, is much better here. But that's not to say Oklahoma was, uh, was not good, right? I mean, uh, had some... Uh, incredible performances there with folks out there incredible musicians out there in oklahoma as well mm-hmm. and, and what was that one precise moment that influenced you in, into what you're doing today um so so i've been i've been writing music for a while um and some of my influences right i mean i come back to the old uh, sweet rock from uh, Led Zeppelin to Pink Floyd to Queen and Genesis and mm. U2 and all of those groups. Classic right? rock, I see. Amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And and also a lot of jazz influences with uh, John McLaughlin, Weather Report, Chikoria, and so on. Um, and, and of course, a lot of folk influences from Bob Dylan and Janis Joplin and uh, and then the real uh, the gurus, Jimi Hendrix and so on. Right. So so those things got me into writing songs. And then I do have this other influence of the Indian classical music of uh, Hindustani and Karnatic and things like that. So I ended up with a style of kind of like a you know uh, rock music with uh, with the eastern accent right mm-hmm. so i do a lot of acoustic work uh, a lot of powerful um, uh, singing uh, work with a little bit of tinge of the eastern style mm-hmm. um, and so just i mean and then at, and and a songwriter likes to tell stories right so <laughs> So, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, I, I deal with more philosophical type of stuff, more social uh, issues and things like that that I write about. Mm. So, um, spend a lot of time just thinking things out and writing uh, important concepts. So my music is is very educational. Uh, and also the other aspect of uh, the whole nonviolence and my music is that every song that I write, I'm also a painter and an artist. Oh, right? wow. Amazing. Yeah. So every song I write, we I try to do a painting for the song, right? So there's always a visual that goes along with the song to kind of tell the story of the song. And uh, so the whole nonviolence concept is... Uh, you know, you have the the music side of it, plus you have an, an artwork that comes with the music, plus the, the lyrics is, is very poetic as well. Mm. Right? So the integration of the music and the art and the and the and the poetry. Mm. You, you talked about um, your songs being philosophical and uh, having some social commentary along with addressing social issues. And who are some of your favorite uh, philosophers growing up? And what type of uh, philosophy did you study? And what did you, um, you know, more focus on? Yeah, it's it's a lot of uh, so the the philosophy. It goes back to you know uh, a lot of it is religious influences also, right? I mean, not like fanatic religious type influences, mm-hmm. but more like you know Buddhism, uh, Confucianism, uh, a lot of poetry. Uh, you know, uh, William Wordsworth and those influences as well. Um, philosophy just came along with with the whole thing, right? I mean, you you go through uh, things like, you know, um, you know, take, for example, the whole universe and create, you know, whether it's evolution or whether it's, you know, creationism and those those type of concepts, but never, never really uh, being fanatic about it, being completely open-minded as to, hey, here is it. So you're always at the end of end of it you always ask the open question right you know what is it could it be this or that you know so but that's 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 what it is Mm -hmm. and and of course you also write about social issues as well too in most of your songs what are the social issues that you address in your music um so so in in this uh in this album specifically uh, there's there's a song called Tree, right? And and the whole thing about the tree is, uh, you know, the the very uh, the very um, uh, philosophy about nature itself being unbiased and impartial, right? So what I mean by that is, if you look at the tree, right, it it is unbiased uh, and unjudgmental. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. On its own, right? So the tree is there, whether whether you are, whoever you are, no matter who you are, she gives you uh, shade, she gives you cool breeze, she gives you her fruits, everything, right? That uh, without judging who you are, right? So nature in itself is impartial, uh, intent is pure, uncontaminated, uh, as perfectly exemplified by the tree, 
Now, the wood chopper, right, mm -hmm. who goes to the tree to chop the tree, also, you know, basks in the shade of the tree on a on a warm, hot summer day while he hacks and chops the tree down, right? Mm -hmm. But regardless of that, the tree is still, you know, just unaffected, consequence-free, um, and still does a duty, right? So the, the question at the end of the day is, can we humans be like the tree and do our duty unconditionally, you know? Or maybe you could have asked George Washington that question when he chopped down the cherry tree when he was asked that. Maybe going to ask him that one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and of course we're going to talk more about uh, music with uh, Sharia Baratan best known as Nonviolence we'll talk about his um, upcoming single and album in just a minute but first listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com powered by Sonic Web Studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all he needs look at a professional website without breaking your budget Sonic Web Studios is the answer Sonic Web Studios offers fast affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away call today 1-800-303-3960 that's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mian Motion Z of No Time for Love Call Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and one's love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com and on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbeam, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Also heard worldwide on Geo7, mostly in India and the Middle East. Also Radio Public and Himalaya and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We here with the multi-talented singer, songwriter, multi-talented musician, non-violence, best known as Sheree Baratan here on the Mike Wagner Show. Or if you want to think about it, you can also reverse to. And before we get to um, your latest release, uh, Ghost of War featuring Electron, we'll play in just a few moments. We're on SoundCloud right now. And you got some uh, tracks as well, too, like Obama, Thanks for Coming, Stop Talking Duo, I Welcome the Wounded, Return of the Queen, Girl in Rags, and more, India and Grey. And uh, maybe you can just uh, talk about some of the songs as well. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, but, I mean, so, so the Obama, Thanks for Coming, uh, just a quick note on that. Uh, that was, uh, I was inspired by the whole civil rights uh, trilogy and the civil rights fight that uh, revolution that went, that America went through and came out successfully, right? Uh, an example for the world to follow. Uh, that really began with Abraham Lincoln, right? Uh, uh, with the Emancipation Proclamation. And then Martin Luther King following up and setting his vision uh, for America and then finally Obama coming and following that vision, right? That, so that was that. That's what that song was about. And, and of um, course, the pressure's on President Biden. The pressure's on. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. I, know. It, I mean, the song is really mm -hmm. not political. It's, it's more just on the civil, the impressive civil rights evolution that took place in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, let's continue on with more songs as well, too. And of course, many of you know that, um, you know, President Biden is um, Obama's vice president. That's why I made that reference that the pressure is on. So. <laughs> right, right, right. And, and then the, the other the other one interesting song is called I Welcome the Wounded. Uh, which which really and has an incredible artwork that goes with it as well. Uh, that song is about people that go through a difficult phase in their childhood, you know, and, and as they grow up, they are not able to get over it, right? So, so uh, you know, the mind kind of you know, takes you back always your memories take you back to those difficult childhood times right if, if you went through some of those tough times of uh, being a child in a very poor family or an abused family and so on you know so that song is all about how do you now break out of that 
and 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 forget those old memories of the past, you know, and come out of that. So, a very interesting song as well. Mm-hmm. And, and also, lastly, as well, too, we find intriguing song like "Return of the Queen," "Girl in Rags," "India," and also "Gray." Maybe you can just uh, pick one and tell us more about that. Uh, sure, sure. Very happy to do that. So, so the song. Uh, let me pick a song called Matrix, right? So there was a song. There's a song called Matrix on the track, um, and what that's about. I mean, today we live in a super complex matrix, right? Um, essentially, what human beings have done is we've um, divided ourselves and put ourselves in all of these boxes, right? Um, we exist in this in this uh, in this world as uh, people of a nation, people, uh, religion, even religion. We've divided religion into so many different uh, religions, Hinduism, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, name it, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we have all kinds of, you know, even if you take people, you take the health system, right? You. you when we are born today, we classify ourselves as, hey, this guy is normal. These folks have ADD. <laughs> yeah. So all what we do is continuous process of division is what we go through, right? If, that's if that's the case, that. many of us are in trouble, including myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. So this song is about how humans, uh, we live in a matrix, right? And, and and we box us so so the folks that you know it's almost like the rich people live in one box uh, you know people if you look at the religion and it's a it's it's a dimensional matrix right so if you look at religion Christians live in one box Hindus live in another box and to go across these boxes become difficult, right? So if you're a, if you're born in a poor family and if you're underprivileged, how do you get out of that box and make it to the to the box, the rich box, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what this whole song is about. It talks about, and he, and even then, in each box, you have a pyramid structure, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you got a guy sitting on the top, and now you got to navigate the ladder of the pyramid to get to the top, right? Mm-hmm. Right. So this whole this whole world, and and it's all controlled by very few people sitting on the top of the pyramid, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's what this song is about. It it takes uh, someone through that journey of how people that are stuck, uh, you know, below the ladder. And they are struggling to come up then. What is it that takes them? But the, but the whole point of the song is, you know, psychologically, we also put ourselves in boxes, right? Mm-hmm. And psychologically in the matrix, you are only where you think you are, mm-hmm. you know? So you might think you're in a box, and because you think so, you're in that box, right? So right, yeah. The song mm-hmm. is to break yourself out of that thought process and uh, go across, you know, mm-hmm. or, uh, to move into any different box or anywhere in the pyramid. Mm-hmm. Or, or, and that's where the term thinking outside the box comes from. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. And, exactly right. And, and of course, you mentioned you mentioned Matrix as well too. It makes me think of that movie, and I think I have to see it over and over again when I think about the Matrix. So, <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> and, yeah. and where can we find your uh, music at? Uh, say again. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry. We're breaking up here. But where can we find your music at, Shree? Uh, where can you? Yeah, yeah. You can find so so. My music is everywhere. Uh, you can you can go to uh, Spotify. You can you can check it out on Amazon, um, Apple Music. So it's it's everywhere, right? So um, you can listen to it. It's on YouTube. I have several videos on YouTube uh, now. The interesting thing about my videos are. The paintings and the artwork are also featured 
uh, as part of the video. So okay. if you watch the video, you can also see the paintings and the artwork, too. Okay, that sounds great. We'll check that out, and we're going to play um, one of his singles from Ghost of War called Electron in just a minute. But first, listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all he needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support or at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Z of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love would be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon of the retailers available on all formats today. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com and on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, TuneIn, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here, a singer, songwriter, multi talented artist, poet, painter, and more. Sheree Baratan, best known as non-violent here on the Mike Wagner Show, born in India, went through Oklahoma City, now in Houston, and right now, he's got a brand new release out from Ghost of War. Here's Electron from non-violence, Sheree Baratan, here on the Mike Wagner Show. Perceptions 
Great song by Sheree Breton, best known as Nonviolence from Ghost of War. That was Electron here on the Mike Wagner Show. Tell us more about that great song and what inspired you to write it. Sure, 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 Mike. So, so Electron is all about, you know, uh, you know everything in, in the cosmos that we live in, uh, from, from the planets to the stars, you know, um, vanish in a million years, right? I mean, uh, nothing is permanent, right? And human beings come and go in a flash, planets live a little longer, but at the end of the day, everything vanishes, right? Mm -hmm. They're all distant facts in the continuum of time. So, So the question really here is, if everything in the cosmos is temporary, right, and changing, what is it that's permanent? Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but what is what is permanent, right? I mean, like you you look at uh, today. I say, hey, I'm Sri, right? I mean, but tomorrow, after I'm in my grave, Sri is not there anymore, right? Mm-hmm. So what is what is the permanent truth? That's the question. So, so this song deals with the electron that that basically is the force of creation that fabricates everything, right? The electron uh, and the way it moves, the frequencies at which it vibrates, creates this whole drama. Uh-huh. So, so if, it, if it's moving faster than the speed of light, it uh, basically uh, materializes air, right? And if it slows down from there, the vibration slows down, it becomes fire. It slows down further, it becomes water. It goes, slows down, the vibration slows down further, and it becomes all of this gross matter, right? Wow, that is amazing, and I never thought about that. And and here we are learning a very valuable science lesson from Sheree Bartani on the Mike Wagner Show. I think someday you ought to be a great science and philosophy teacher. It's like, I'm learning a lot from you today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's just fun stuff, you know. But but that's the whole. This song just talks about that. It's it's called the dance of the electron. Uh, of course, the name of the song is electron. But really, the dance of the electron is what spawns all of this creation, right? So so really, the question becomes, what is it that makes the electron dance, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, that's the question, right? I mean, 
Some people say it's creation, it's the creator, and some people say no, it's evolution, and it's an accident. But that's, uh, I guess, we won't know till, uh, or maybe we'll never know even after we go. Mm-hmm. Or, or you can choose by going rock, scissors, paper. Take your pick. So. <laughs> 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 there you go, and, and and of course it's um, electrons uh, is off of Ghosts of War, and uh, tell us more about the album and um, maybe a few of the songs uh, right here on the Mike Wagner show. Sure, sure. So the the album is a is a conglomeration of about uh, about nine songs. Uh, it uh, it's it's basically uh, the compositions are contemporary but still unconventional. Um, the, the instrumentation style, it's mostly acoustic guitar work. It's an acoustic album with a lot of electric guitar accents, a lot of harmonics and a different sounds that you'll hear that's part of the album. But there's a, there's, there are nine songs. I mean, it begins with The Queen. Now, The Queen is is really, a, you know, it's, a, it, it's, it's actually a, a symbol of the mind. So the Queen is a song about the human mind, mm-hmm. and uh, it just talks about how the human mind uh, kind of uh, seeks pleasure, prosperity, and power in today's world, and all of our education system and everything is is teaches the mind to go out there and seek uh, power and pleasure and prosperity and money and materialism, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what that song. It's it's about it's about uh, the mind, right? And then the, the, we talked about the tree and the beauty of nature and, and the consistency and unbiased and unconditional duty that nature performs, right? <clears throat> and then it moves into the ghosts of war, which is a song about atheism, right? One of my many of my best friends were atheists. Uh, and we always had a lot of arguments around, hey, you know, there's so much of um, killing that happens in the name of religion. There's, you know, how can there be God when, you know, uh, there's all this, <clears throat> all this negativity and greed and hate that comes out of religion. So that's what that song is about. It just talks about uh, the religion. It's really a question mark on... You know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, what is religion, right? Is it, uh, is there a difference between spirituality and a difference between religion? And then, you know, is there a difference between fanatics as well as agnostics, right? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's just a question mark on that, right? Mm-hmm. And- um, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, and then the next song is Matrix, which talks, I think we talked about it. Yeah, we already talked about that, too. Yeah, and then Electron, we talked about. Then there's an interesting song there about Van Gogh, right? Mm -hmm. Um, So Van Gogh, as you know, one of the the greatest artists uh, that that walked the face of the earth, right? Uh Uh-huh. So so that song talks about, uh, you know, there's a concept, there's people who who can get into their art form, right, and live in the art form, like Van Gogh, um, they are folks that don't care about uh, the materialism or what comes or what comes from the work they do, right? They they live in their work, they do their work, and before you know it, they're gone, right? So, and they leave that legacy uh, a legacy for the generations to come. Mm-hmm. So, so people like these. Uh, there's a word in uh, in Indian uh, in India called yogi, right? So, you probably heard the word yoga, right? Correct. Yeah, and of course, I've heard of yogi as in Yogi Berra too. So, like the manager. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yogis are folks that are able to do that, right? They they work for the sake of work, right? mm-hmm. and they paint for the sake of painting. And uh, they play music for the sake of uh, playing music and for nothing else, right? So the the art form becomes their jealous mistress, and uh, they're just hooked to that, right? I mean, uh, without any uh, without any uh, desire for the fruits of their creations, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's about, right? It just talks about that. 
And then there's a couple of songs there towards the end. Uh, you know, I did lose both my mom and my dad uh, in 2017 and 18. I'm so sorry. Uh, six, six months back to back. You mm. know? So I did write a song for my for my mother. The song is called Purity. And there's a song out there for my dad that's called uh, The Last Thought, uh, which the question mark is, you know, what was the last thought that went through his mind, right, when he left? Mm-hmm. So that that's a, that's an interesting song. It's an interesting philosophy. There, there's a lot of material on, on what should be your last thought when you leave. You know? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's an interesting, that's a whole philosophy in itself, that song. Uh, and then there's also the one song there called Mirror, and the song Mirror is very intro. That's also a philosophy. Basically, it says that, you know, everything you see out there in the cosmos is basically your own perception, right? That you are projecting what you see. Now, if you're a happy person, then you'll attract the happy. If you're a sad person, you attract the, the sorry people to you. And if you fear something, your fear always comes back to you, right? So mm-hmm. that's what that song is all about. It's called The Middle. Mm-hmm. And, and, <laughs> and a good portion is Common Sense as well, too. Totally relate. And uh, where can we find uh, Electron and Ghost of War at? Yeah, yeah. You, you can, you can uh, I mean, uh, you can see it's on, it's on all of the uh, musical outlets, Spotify, SoundCloud. Apple Music and so on, and on YouTube as well. So on YouTube, I have four songs, Ghosts of War. Uh, I've got Electron there. Uh, Matrix is out there as well as Mirror. Okay. All right. That's fantastic. And once again, we're here with uh, non-violin Sheree Baratan here on the Mike Wagner Show. Born in India, now in Houston. Very big thank you for your time. You've been great. And um, before we uh, wrap up here and uh, tell us, uh, what do you, what can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond, Sheree? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very good question, Mike. So I've started on my next album, right? I've uh, started working on it. Um, and... Uh, this this album is going to feature uh, the seasons of of the, of the world. I mean, that's uh, the four seasons that we have, right? Uh, summer and uh, winter and uh, fall and uh, and uh, spring. Mm-hmm. So I've got uh, songs re- and and it's again in a philosophical uh, put in a very philosophical way. So that's what I'm working on right now. The album started. I'm expecting to complete it sometime in 21. Uh, hopefully for a little release in 21. If not, it'll be early 22 when it comes up. Sounds great. We're looking forward to that as well, too, Cherie. And uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Yeah, so I, I would say my biggest influence is uh, Pink Floyd for sure. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, those are that's uh, I mean one of the most incredible bands. Also, uh, Led Zeppelin, Jethro Tull, Yes, um, uh, so many other influences, right? All the way from Police to Sting, mm-hmm. Dire Straits, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Bob Dylan. And then a whole lot of jazz influences, John McLaughlin, Weatherford, Charlie Bird Parker, Jaco Pastorius, uh, Chicoria, I mean, a whole lot of uh, other jazz influences mm-hmm. as well. And many of my favorites as well, too, in a classic rock genre. And uh, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? It's, say, say once again, Mike. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? <laughs> oh, I did my, I would say never give up, right? I would say, uh, you know, the dreams that you have, never give up, right? Hold on to those dreams, work towards them, and as long as you hold on to them, they will come true. Mm-hmm. Yes. So and- that, that's my best advice. I would say uh, go for it. 
get it done. You live once, enjoy it, get it done, make something of your life. And definitely well, too. Once again, here with nonviolent Sharia Baratan here on the Mike Wagner Show. Sharia, very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. Make sure you stay in touch and tell us once again your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or listen to your music? Thank you so much, Mike. Very happy uh, Christmas, happy holidays, happy New Year. Enjoy, uh, enjoy the 2021. Let's get over with 2020 <laughs> as soon as possible. And, and of course, don't forget, don't forget to tell people what's your website and how do people uh, contact you and um, where can people yep. purchase your music? I mean, that is very important, right? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go to www.nonviolence.com to reach out to get in touch with me. My music is all over the place: Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Music, uh, and YouTube as well. Uh, Feel free to reach out. Happy to hear from anybody who wants to talk to me. Shoot me a note and we can get in touch. That sounds great. Once again, Sharia, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. And let's let out the electrons. Thank you so much, Mike. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a Cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Motion Zia. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public and the themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 